Hello, it's Catherine from Autism Hope and Healing. My beautiful daughter was diagnosed with autism nine years ago. Since then, I have been on a mission to help her recover, help her feel better, help her be healthier. And now, nine years later, she is still on the spectrum, but doing better, and we're pushing through. Giving up is absolutely not an option. That's what this is all about. Today's topic is medical marijuana for autism. We've been using medical marijuana for about a month now. And so far, I am super excited. She is so much calmer when she's on the marijuana. She's less anxious. She's sleeping better, less face picking, better behavior. It's pretty cool to see how she just sort of calms down probably about a half an hour after I give it to her. I'm gonna show you an example. <laughs> Hi, Anna. What's you doing? Hi, Anna. How you feeling? What you up to? Right now, marijuana is legal in 33 states and 14 states have marijuana as a qualifying condition. If you look at the map, you can see it. However, I want to encourage you not to look too deeply at this map. Things are literally changing every single month. You hear something different, another state legalizes it or changes the rules. So just keep your eyes and ears peeled, especially if you live in a state where it is not legal. Marijuana comes from the cannabis plant. The use of cannabis to treat people medicinally dates back thousands of years. Medical marijuana has been used to treat conditions such as cancer, HIV, seizures, epilepsy, extreme pain, migraines. Medical marijuana has been helping people for thousands of years. In this visual, you can see that the plant produces over 100 unique cannabinoids which bind to CB1 and CB2 receptors in the body's endocannabinoid system. THC and CBD are two of these cannabinoids that are known to have clinical importance. In medical applications, THC is used to treat pain, nausea, insomnia, and poor appetite. CBD, which is less controversial because it does not produce mind-altering effects, but it also treats pain, anxiety, insomnia, and nausea. When I first started researching marijuana for autism, I found an amazing woman named Jenny Mai. She moved her entire family from Wisconsin to California just to help her son. She found that marijuana helped him, calmed him, pretty much got rid of all of his violent behavior, aggression, and she moved because the marijuana was not legal in Wisconsin. So it's amazing to hear her story. I'm going to link a YouTube video down below that shows her story. Since then, what she's done is even more amazing. She's formed an entire group called Whole Plant Access for Autism. There's a website, there's a Facebook group. I'm on that Facebook group constantly. There's so much information on there. All of the files and announcements include information on the different types of marijuana, the different cannabinoids, products, prices, how it helps children, how to start, how to make your own. Right now I'm in the experimental stages with different products. I wish I had more information on that with my daughter because is so new for us. I am going to keep you updated though. I will keep updating information on her progress and what products we are using right now. Like I said, it's very experimental, but we are seeing amazing results and I have Jenny to thank, Jenny and her group. I am still just blown away by how helpful this group is and the exciting results we're seeing so far. Please comment down below if you have a question, a suggestion, maybe a story of how medical marijuana has helped you or someone you love. We want to hear it. Remember, we are all in this together. It is a journey. It's tough, but you're tougher. Our kids deserve healing. They deserve progress and love. Keep smiling. Keep your head up. Please like and share my video and have a wonderful day.